excited to talk about and I'm highly involved in this is uh, the Australian uh, Pedal Prix or the Australian International Pedal Prix or it's technically called the Uni SA Australian HPV Super Series. Um, now they are actually traveling to Victoria Park here in Adelaide where the famous Velo Adelaide 500 is, is, yell, is um, held yearly, um, that Parkland circuit there. Um, they're racing this weekend uh, for round three of the 2024 season. Um, now it's actually a six hour race technically. Um, now the reason I'm talking about this is because I will be there commentating once again, of course, I commentated there for the previous round, which was held at Tail and Bend at the Shell V Power Motorsport Park at the Bend for their six hour race. Um, so I'm very stoked and, priv- and honored to be on the microphone once again on the Saturday and Sunday races. Uh, I'm very looking, it's, it's going to be exciting. I'm looking forward to the opportunity to once again do it. Uh, it's such a fantastic category. I went there, I went, actually went to Victoria Park on the weekend. Uh, this weekend that just passed, uh, they actually did some training. You, if you're in Adelaide and you're in the city on the weekends, you tend to see uh, the pedal pre bikes actually tr- doing some training sessions throughout the day. Uh, and I actually went to my first training session yesterday, uh, sorry, Saturday, and I took my son, and it was a fantastic day out. Um, it was great to see all, te- all the team, a lot of the teams um, going out there, having the track to themselves. It was fantastic. I reunited with my old team that I used to compete for Endeavor College well, of course and uh, I actually went to school there as well it's a school team so it was great to see them there um, catch up with uh, an old old face I'm um, looking forward to seeing how they go they didn't race last time out so they're racing this time very excited for it and uh, can't wait um, for action to kick off so just let's I'm going to do a quick little preview ahead of uh, this weekend's pedal pre race um, at Adelaide. So basically round three of the UniSA Australian HPV Super Series is actually called the Festival of Pedal Pre. Um, and the reason for that is normally the races, for example, uh, it's like a WEC for bikes. If you haven't checked out um, a video I put up on YouTube on Let's Talk Motorsport, feel free to check it out. It does I do go into a little in-depth preview or information. I do talk about that a little bit more. Um, but basically it's like an endurance race for trikes, recumb- recumbent trikes. Um, um, where you lay down in a capsule and you race for either six hours, eight hours, seven hours, or 24 hours, uh, which there is actually going to be a 24-hour event in Murray Bridge in September. So that is going to be epic. It all basically, this whole championship leads up to that moment. And it's it's, it's such a fantastic venue. Um, but we're talking about this weekend, the Festival of Pedal Prix. Now, the reason this is so special and so unique to the the series throughout the whole entire year is because instead of having all of our categories uh, or our classes joined together, we're actually splitting them up into their own races. So Friday, so it's a three day event, and uh, most day most of the time it's only a one day event except for Murray Bridge. But uh, basically, this weekend it's the three day event. Friday, we've got uh, the S1 versus Category 4s, which is basically your juniors uh, for school teams and community juniors, which is, I believe, from memory, it's under 13s. Um, they have their own six-hour race. They use the shorter track, which is... Um, I'm not, I can't remember how many kilometres it is from memory. Um, they use actually they actually use the back... If you remember, if you're familiar with the Adelaide 500 track, they actually use the back end of that track, the permanent part where they go a little curvy there and the hairpin and so forth. Um, if you know what I mean, you know what I mean. Um, so they have their own six hour event on the Friday. Um, on the Saturday, we have our category C, community C, um, seven versus uh, to five, which is the other chunk of the community ones. Now these guys are the main ones, the fast ones. Um, the, you know, anyone old, older than 19 and stuff like that. That's what C7 is, which is the fastest ones on the grid. They've got actually a seven hour race. Now, this is the one I'm very excited for because, uh, at the bend, we saw Epic Racing in the top five, actually top eight, technically. Um, 
at Tail and Bend last time out with especially Waddle Racing. They took the win. Uh, Waddle Racing actually won uh, round one at Mount Gambia and then round two at Tail and Bend. So I'm very curious to see if they can win uh, the Adelaide race here. Uh, or, who knows, maybe uh, Trump Trikes, who finished second last time out, can actually steal it from them. Or maybe Team Uni SA. Now, keep an eye out for them. They've got a fantastic livery. Um, a little bit biased. Um, I love blue and green. But uh, Team Uni SA. Now, they're actually... A very very young team in comparison comparison to the others. Um, this is their only, their only second full time season. Now the dry now the riders though they're veterans in the sport. They've won races before, but the team itself is quite brand new. They only started racing last year, and they're yet to still taste that victory. Um, so maybe they might win on home soil. Who knows? We'll keep an eye out for them for sure. Uh, and then Sunday uh, is the S three. Oh sorry, S three to S ones. Um, the remaining, uh, which is also actually our biggest one, uh, in terms of entry field. Uh, that's going to be amazing. That's a six hour race. And now, by the way, I forgot to mention the Saturday, Sunday, they use the long track, which is 1.35 kilometers. Um, so that's going to be interesting there. Uh, it's such a fantastic circuit. It looks so simple on paper, but yet you'd have to be so careful, especially heading into turn one. Now, of course, these bikes these are trikes so um two wheels at the front one wheel at the back one small move and you can easily roll and i oh, actually went the training session i went to on the weekend we almost saw a roll <laughs> some uh, one of the bikes uh cr almost went on to one wheel two wheels <laughs> um so it's so easily it can easily happen and if you're going actually if you're going to the event or if you're actually um a competitor yourself Keep an eye out for turn one. You have to nail that. Um, you have to nail that racing line. Otherwise, one small move, if you haven't got good control, you can easily crash. So make sure you keep an eye on that when you're racing. Um, it's so easily... It can easily happen to anyone, all right? So don't stress if it does happen. Um, I almost done it myself when I raced there years ago. Um, I actually got a puncture there. Uh, I'm not going to talk about that, though. That's another story for another day. Um, but yeah, you got to watch out for turn one there. It can be quite chaotic. Um, but, yeah, it's a fantastic track. It's mostly flat um, the whole way through, especially compared to Tail and Bend, which, is, which had so much incline. Um, and in terms of spectators, there's viewing everywhere. You can see the whole entire track, uh, which is fantastic. So be sure to bring your family down uh, June 14th to the 16th uh, at Victoria Park, um, which, of course, is across Fullerton Road. Um, it's it's going to be fantastic. If you haven't seen these bikes in action before, I highly recommend checking them out. It's going to be epic. Uh, Sunday as well, we're going to have a 20-minute sprint race with the, C with the community teams as well who race on the Saturday. A couple of them will race on the Sunday prior to that school race uh, it's going to be fantastic in terms of entries however uh for friday race we've got at this is at the moment uh according to the ahpv ss website um we've got 41 entries for the friday race uh 71 entries for race two on the saturday and then the race on sunday we've got a whopping 116 so that that's pretty crazy imagine them joined together will be very close to what we got at tail and bend which is, i think was 173 bikes in total um now that is crazy so if that tick was your fancy and you're looking for someone to do this weekend i highly recommend going down to victoria park this weekend to check out this epic action uh, i'm not, in terms of catering i'm not too sure about that if there is going to be catering there, I'm sure there was when I, I haven't been to Victoria Park in so long. Uh, there was at Tail and Bend, so I'm hoping there is this weekend. Uh, I will keep people informed if um, about that as well. Um, I highly recommend coming down. It's going to be fantastic. If you want more information, uh, you can head to the ahpvss.com. Uh, that's the Pedal Free website. Or check out their uh, Facebook page. Just go Australian International Pedal Free. Uh, and also feel free to check out the many YouTube clips you can see. Um, Team Uni SA, like I mentioned as well, they do a doco series um, called Evo Access, which is like a, a drive to survive um, for Pedal Free. And that's a fantastic thing. I highly recommend checking that out. Uh, in terms of myself, 
myself, I will be there on, I'll be there at the track every day. Uh, Friday, I'll be roaming around during scrutineering, doing some filming and stuff like that. Uh, Saturday and Sunday, I will be on the microphone commentating. Um, so, uh, yeah, feel free to head on down. It's going to be fantastic. Uh, and, uh, yeah, on that note, that actually concludes, uh, tonight's show. I do apologize. It might be all over the shop and I am on my own. Uh, and it is a bit short, so I do apologize about that. But thank you for everyone who has tuned in. If you're new here, welcome. I hope you have enjoyed your experience. Um, and also, if you guys want to check us out, uh, do check out Let's Talk Motorsport uh, on our, on any social platform you can think of. Just search up Let's Talk Motorsport. It's usually the yellow icon. Uh, we're mostly active on our Instagram, YouTube, and TikTok. Um, and like I said before, um, Wednesday, the 12th of June at 7.30 p.m. Australian East in standard time or AEST or Adelaide time um, we'll be live streaming our uh, F1 debrief which is the Canadian Grand Prix we'll go an in-depth review there and also after that we'll be doing our Repco Supercars um Darwin preview because of course they're racing once again this weekend um, so we go into an in-depth preview where we break down all the news and the schedule and the weather and all that stuff so um if that sounds like something you're interested in, be sure to check that out. And also, like I said, if you are actually joining those live streams on TikTok and Insta and uh, YouTube, uh, for, ask a question, say a comment on the live, and you will be featured on our podcast, which then is uploaded to Spotify and immediately on YouTube on uh, YouTube in full. So feel free to head on down there. Um, also check out Radio Italiana, uh, um, their socials as well, and be sure to support them. And thanks. Uh, once again for having us on their program um, it's fantastic uh, and if you haven't downloaded the Radio Italiana app be sure to do so highly recommend it you can listen to listen to us on the go anywhere you go uh, and uh, like I said check out our Spotify and YouTube as well um, be sure to give us a five star rating like and subscribe you know all that fancy stuff um, my name is Daniel and uh, thanks again for joining me once again for another week of chatting uh, all things motor racing um, and uh, yeah we'll see you next week hopefully I have someone with me see how we go but uh, that's all from me bye for now.